Hey guys, it's Pastor Hugo. We've got a great story today. It's called The Lost Son. Sometimes it's called The Prodigal Son. But let's let's read it together. Here's a, here's a picture. It says, Jesus told another parable about God's love. So I want you to remember that. This is a story about God's love. And we'll come back to that at the end. It said, there was a man who had two sons. He, he owned a big farm. You see the big farm? His youngest son did not want to work anymore. Oh, he was lazy. He wanted to travel and have fun. So he asked his father for his share of the family money. That wasn't a really nice thing to do, was it? The son got the money. He packed his things and left. He couldn't wait to see the world. His family was sad to see him go. At first, he had fun spending all the money. He bought expensive clothes. He ate fancy food. He had a lot of parties. But soon, all the money was gone. Look at what he's doing there. He says he had to go to work. He got a job with a pig farmer. He was so hungry that even the pig's food looked good. Oh, that's gross, eating pig's food. The son wanted to go back home. He said, I will tell my father I'm sorry for what I've done. I do not deserve to be called his son. Maybe he'll let me go to work for him. The father saw his son coming down the road, his eyes filled with tears as he ran to greet him. See how happy the father is that his son's coming back? The son said, please forgive me, Dad. That night, they had a big party. The father exclaimed, my son was lost, but now he's found. Jesus explained his story. God is like this father. He is full of love and joy when people who are lost come back to him. But there's really one thing I want you to remember about this story. Just one thing. And I want you to remember it the rest of your life. No matter what you do, God will never stop loving you. If you do something really bad, it's not going to make God stop loving you. If you run away and forget about God, it's not going to make God stop loving you. Nothing you will ever do will make God stop loving you. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, Thank you for loving me. Thank you that I can know that you will love me always, no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for coming to chapel today. I'll see you soon.